Hi Dollar Divas! Welcome to Behind the Vanity. I'm Jessica. So before we get started into today's video, which is another Dollar Tree haul, it's actually kind of a part two to one that just went up. From the same shopping trip, I just bought a lot, and this is a beauty Dollar Tree haul. I just wanted to take a quick second to mention my makeup look that I am wearing today is using products from my latest makeup basket, my this week's makeup basket. So if you wanna see what products I used and what is in my makeup basket this I week, will link that video below along with the whole playlist as well. I've been doing it a few weeks now, so you can check that out and see what products I am using. And if you're a dollar diva, if you could just do two things for me, is first, if you found me through one of my Dollar Tree videos, comment down below, hashtag Dollar Diva, and let me know, let me know that you love these videos as much as I love making them. And if you are a Dollar Diva, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you'll know when more videos like this go up. And for all my Dollar Divas returning, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate it so much. And if you are new, Welcome. If you've been with me for a while, thank you again so much for coming back time and time and time again. I really, really, really do appreciate it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get into this haul video. I picked up quite a few things. So the first item is actually a hair mask and this is Beginnings by Hask. And this is the Nourishing Coconut Oil Conditioning Treatment. It is for all hair types. It's 30 milliliters or a fluid ounce. And so it's like a deep conditioner. You put it in your hair for like 10 minutes and it's gonna soften and moisturize. I kind of need this desperately. Um, I need to trim really bad. Um, <laughs> and I ran out of deep conditioner and I'm just not really buying, I haven't really bought like another bottle of it. So I just thought this would be a good treatment. And as short as my hair is, I may be able to get two uses out of this. I don't know, I will let you know, but I thought for a dollar that was a really good thing to try. The second item, and I usually, I always have one of these in my shower, and I think I usually get them at Walmart. And I wanna say they're two or three dollars, maybe a dollar fifty, maybe two fifty. I can't remember, but I know they're not a dollar. So I I'd never really seen these there before. This is the exfoliating bath cloth. And it's one of those bath cloths, it's got like the um, it's got kind of like a loofah kind of a side, and then it's got a little bit more of like a cloth side. So like I said, I've bought a couple of these. I, I do wash them in the washing machine, but after a while, I will just go ahead and toss it. So I thought that was a really good deal for a dollar, and it feels really, really nice. It feels very exfoliating. So picked one of those up. So I have one more item, and then the rest of it is kind of makeup oriented, but this is gonna take a little bit of explanation. It's one pair of the treatment masks for your feet. I have been seeing various products like these over the last couple of years. You put these like socks on, kinda. They're like a paper sock with like a treatment in them. You leave them on for some time and then over the course of a few days, a week, a couple weeks, your feet peel and all the bad dead skin comes off. And usually they're a little pricey, like seven or eight dollars. I was surprised to see they had them at the Dollar Tree. So the claim is they soften cracked heels and rough dry feet, moisturize and exfoliate, convenient wearable mask socks. The dead skin, the cracked heels, and calluses will simply peel away in about four to seven days after use. And you're not supposed to use this more than once a month. It's also pH balanced, hypoallergenic. They're cruelty free. They are also cruelty free. I was like, I'm very curious to see if they work. I have never tried a product like this, although I have been wanting to. So if these work, that is a bargain for a dollar because like I said, a lot of them tend to be several dollars for a treatment. So this will be a separate video. I am so excited to try these and to try them, to demo them, to see how long it takes, because I've heard sometimes it takes a little longer for your feet to peel than these say. So yeah, this will be a separate video. I am so excited to try these. So now we get into the makeup. Did I need any of it? No. But I wanna try a lot of it for you. So this is for you. <laughs> so I got another one of these LA Color Trios. So this is in the color Orchid. It looks like this is a shimmer and these are two matte shades, which I have three of these already and they're all shimmery. So I was excited because this one has a couple matte shades. So here they are. So there are the shades. They're not like incredibly pretty and they're a little hard to swatch. Um, I do love the other, I've used one of the trios kind of so far. It was actually in my last week's makeup basket. 
and I really like it. And I haven't really tried the other couple that I have. Those are still future videos that I need to get to. Um, but yeah, I'll be excited to try these and let you know and show you how they work. So Dollar Tree has been carrying hard candy brand products for a while now. Kind of hit or miss, you can't always find certain things or anything, but when I do, I'm trying to buy them and try them. But this is the Hard Candy Stay In Line 12 Hour Mechanical Gel Eyeliner. It's got a built-in sharpener and smudger. It's a precision tip, and this is in dark chocolate. I do not have a brown eyeliner. They didn't have black, but I've kind of been wanting to try. I've been hearing a lot of um, YouTubers kind of rave about brown eyeliner. So I thought this was kind of a perfect thing to buy for the moment. But there you go. I will be doing a full face, actually several videos coming up of a full face of Dollar Tree makeup and testing out products and all that good thing. So be excited to try that. So I also bought another one of those trios. This is in Sunflower and it looks like it has a shimmer and then two matte shades as well. Yeah, these ones, except for the middle shade, this one here and that one there are very creamy. Definitely perform a whole lot more like the other ones that I have, but those are really pretty shades. I like that I have a couple now with some matte shades. Yeah, the quality of this one seems really very good, so. So I picked up a couple of like liquid highlighters. This one's from e.l.f. and one is from LA Colors, and they're just kind of liquid highlight shimmer products. This is an angelic glow. They had a couple colors. This is highlighting pearl paint in, I guess, Gold Star. So the e.l.f. is on the top and the LA Colors is on the bottom. So I bought, several months ago, I did a Dollar Tree haul video and I bought a couple of these um, faux mink lashes. These are the Wispy Spiky, but they're 100% handmade 3D faux mink lashes. They're, um, they're cruelty free and vegan. So I have worn these before and I do usually have to trim them for my eyes, whereas I usually don't have to do that with like Ardell's. Um, but really they're very, very nice. They're a little bit plasticky in the band, but they're very dramatic. So if you like dramatic lashes, and I know I have some friends that do, these are a good, cheap way to go. I got another pair of those. These are the Wispy Natural Flare. So those, I thought those were really pretty too. So I got two pairs of these. <laughs> so. To kind of go with those lashes, because usually I just like to stick to like the eyelash glue that I know. But I really do want to do a Dollar Tree video, like where I test out the makeup and do a full face, where I use everything from the Dollar Tree. Brushes, eyelashes, glue, everything. So I happen to see this LA Colors Dramata Lash Lash Adhesive. It dries black, it's latex free and long wearing. You get two tubes of it. So I wanted to give it a try because I really had never really, really, really tried lash glue from the Dollar Tree. So I will see if it's any good and that will be very handy in a completely full, no exception, <laughs> face of Dollar Tree products. And so with that, I also bought some brushes. I bought an e.l.f., they had an e.l.f. stippling brush, which I've been kind of wanting a stippling brush. I haven't had one in a really long time. And when I had one, I didn't really know what it was used for. So I kind of want to do over. I'm sure this isn't the best one on the face of the planet. A little bit small, which would probably be really good for like a makeup bag. I thought that might be good for like powdered highlighter or something like that, so I bought one of those. I do use these often. I have a lot of face brushes and some concealer brushes and stuff. So yeah, I kind of needed something I could kind of do all over eyeshadow with because I got like little liner brushes and things like that. So I bought these so that I can really do full face every single thing from the Dollar Tree. So. And these really are very, very, very good brushes from the Dollar Tree. And they even have like a bigger selection of these Wet n Wild brushes like at Walgreens and stuff like that. And these are also cruelty free and vegan, so that's good. So another hard candy item that I picked up, I've been seeing this quite a bit and I've held off buying it because I couldn't find it in black, but I just went ahead and bit the bullet and this is an anchor, this is a hard candy, and this is a hard candy felt tip eyeliner. It's supposed to be 12 hour and smudge proof. This is an anchor, which is kind of like a gray color. Oh, you know, it's actually practically black. I'm really glad I picked that up. Man, that's that's like precision too, let's see. Man, you can get a really thin line with that. That is fabulous. I am really glad that I picked that up because it's, it's way darker. I get a little bit of light shining on it, but it's really a lot darker 
than the container leads you to believe. So I'm excited to try that. <laughs> also does not come off easily, so that's good. <laughs> so I also picked up, they had several colors of these. I just got one, I just got the color Cheers, but it's LA Colors Liquid Eyeshadow, Metallic Glowing Eyes. It's kind of a coppery gold. So that's kind of what it looks like. Oh my God, that's so pretty. Wow. So yeah, I am very excited to use this. But they had this LA Colors Duo Eyeshadow Pencil. It's got a built-in sharpener. So it's an eyebrow pencil and an eyeshadow pencil. And this is in the, they had a couple colors. This is in shimmer. I'm kind of hoping that I can use this for my eyebrows and then I can use this for under my eyebrows. So we'll see, let's, let's try it out. Okay, there's the dark side. I think I could use that for my eyebrows. And that's the light side. This, I think this is better than L'Oreal. The L'Oreal one is dual ended. It has like a shimmery side and a non shimmery side to highlight under your brow bone, but I don't feel like it pops enough. So I think that's going to be lovely. I'm really, really excited about this. Yeah, it's got this little sharpener too. It's like a cover and you go in and you can sharpen it. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, I'll be very excited to try this as well. I've got so much good stuff this time, like I can't believe it. So they had this LA Colors Loose Powder. This is a lightweight formula. I got it in the color light. Um, they had a couple shades. This is what it looks like. Nice little compact, compact. <laughs> be really good to take on vacation. So it's got, you know, like the way a loose powder comes. So it really does go on very velvety. I think that's gonna be super nice. So yeah, something to use when I do a full face of Dollar Tree makeup. It feels very luxurious. It really, really feels very luxurious. So I'll be very excited to try this. I'm sure I'll like it better than the Tarte Smooth Operator Powder, which I've not been a fan of. This already seems like way better, so we'll see. So the last four items I have are lip products. So I just, I did a video where I test Dollar Tree makeup products from a previous haul. And in that I had a lip plumping lip gloss that was awesome. I don't know if it really plumped my lips, but it was a really good lip gloss, especially for a dollar. And so I can't remember the color that it was in. It was in like a natural nude kind of a shade, but, and they have several colors. So I just went ahead and bought two more shades. They have even more than this. I just, these ones just really appealed to me. So I got Swell and Supreme. I watched another YouTube video where someone said that it did tingle their lips. I don't know if I just didn't wear it long enough because honestly, I've just been wearing makeup for videos lately. So I'm kind of putting it on, I'm coming up with looks, I'm playing and then I'm taking it off. So I did not wear any of it long enough, but they smell, they smell good. They kind of smell like dessert. They either smell like dessert or crayons. I really don't know, <laughs> but I think I remember it tasting really good. I think it, I think I remember saying it tasted like cake. So it's, I think it tastes better than it even smells. But here's the colors, just a very pretty soft pink. And then we have kind of a berry shade, very pigmented, really pretty. They weren't sticky, which was good. I remember them not feeling sticky. So I just got rid of like three lip products in my collection and I'm probably gonna get rid of some more. So I'm replacing it with some really good Dollar Tree stuff. You can't beat it. Then the last two products I have, I've been seeing these like all over YouTube and other people's haul videos. I've just totally been binge watching like a lot of Dollar Tree videos on YouTube, especially makeup videos, but even just regular hauls. And I just became aware of a brand called Shop Miss A and Believe Beauty. Believe Beauty you can get in Dollar General, and it's not dollar items, but they're just, but they're very, very affordable, like more affordable than like most drugstore stuff. And then Shop Miss A, they have a lot of products. There's something you buy online, it's a website. And they have a lot of stuff for a dollar as well. And I just became aware of those two things. Like, yeah, so eventually I wanna feature those products as well too and try those and all that good stuff, but yeah. So, but I've been seeing these a lot in other people's Dollar Tree hauls and I've been dying to try them and I just saw them. It's LA Colors Velvet Lip Mousse. It's a velvety matte texture and I got the color Whipped and Souffle. And these have gotten really good reviews too. So I've been excited to try them and be able to find them and then try them. So on the top is Souffle and on the bottom is Whipped. They are velvety. I mean, really and truly. Ultimately, we'll have to see how long they last. 
but you know for a dollar just something to put on your lips i mean usually unless you get something long lasting it isn't going to last very long but that is just cool i am so excited you know you just can't beat it for a dollar so I hope you enjoyed this Dollar Tree beauty haul. Please check my description box and check out that Dollar Tree playlist. And also if you are a Dollar Diva, comment hashtag Dollar Diva and introduce yourself. And make sure you're subscribed and hit that bell. That way you can come join me on these videos and be notified when they come out. And if you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up by hitting that like button. It helps me out so much. And comment, let me know if you've tried any of these products, if you love any of these products, if you're excited to find any of these products in your local Dollar Tree. So anyways, these videos are fun. I love making them. I hope you enjoy watching them. So I will be testing all these products out at some point in the future. So hopefully you will come back and join me. It'll probably have to, it'll definitely have to be more than one video for sure. So thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next time. Bye.